Okay, supplies needed. You're going to need an assortment of ribbons, 3 8 inch. I've got, of course, some yellow, green, blue, orange, because I'm going to do a rainbow corker. And the most important part, our dowels. These are wooden dowels I got at Walmart. And these are, let's see, they are 3 16 of an inch. That's what size dowels we're going to be using. And you're also going to need some clothespins to secure the ends of our ribbon. Now you're going to take your wooden dowel and your ribbon and start at one end. And we're going to wrap the ribbon around the dowel a couple of times just to secure it. Now you're going to take your clothespin and you're just going to clamp that ribbon down just to hold it in place like so. Now what we're going to do is just wrap the ribbon around the dowel and you can twist and roll just like this. Now if you want a tight corker you're going to put your ribbons wrap them tight together like this. If you want to loose wrap it like this. I don't recommend a very loose corker. Um, it just doesn't make for a good hair bow. So just wrap your ribbon all the way down by twisting the dowel. And once you get to the end, again you're going to wrap your ribbon a couple of times and secure it with your other clothespin. And here you're just going to trim the end with your scissors. And this is what it looks like wrapped around the dowel. Now we're going to take all of our corker dowels and we're going to put them in the oven for about 20 minutes. And before you put these in the oven, you're going to need to wet each dowel. They don't have to be really wet, just damp. So run them under the water. Okay, and if you're using an older pan, I highly recommend that you put a piece of foil underneath your corkers before they go in the oven. Now we're just going to bake these at 225 for about 20 minutes. Show you how to make a corker box. Um, this is just going to be a tool for helping you hold your corkers in place until you can get your elastic around them. Um, this helps me out. I hope it helps you guys out. Some people like to sew their corkers. I just prefer this method. I think it it just makes for a a rounder, fuller corker to me. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Okay, and what I'm using is a pop tart box. You're going to need a tape measure and some sharp scissors. The box that I'm making is three and a half by three and a half. And as you can see, I've already went and measured where I need to cut. It's going to be three and a half inches. So you just need to cut around the box. Okay, once your box is formed, we're going to now take it and cut some slits in the sides. And this is going to be where our elastic will sit and your corkers are going to line up in here. One on top of the other. We're going to do like four rows. So you need to do two slits and get them in the middle, each side. they don't have to be too big. There's one. Now just go to the other side. Try to get it even with the other. Alright, we got our slits and our cork box. We're just ready to fill it with our corkers. 
once your ribbon has come out of the oven and you've allowed it to cool for about 10 or 15 minutes, you're just going to take your clothespins off of each end and you're going to just unravel it from the dowel. And you remember the ends that we wrapped a couple of times, you're going to need to trim those. Because they're all messed up looking, see? Just trim it. Okay. And this is what your corker ribbon will look like. Now we're going to cut it into smaller pieces and four more hair bow. Okay, and I'm going to trim mine down to about three to three and a half inches just because that's the size that I did my box. If you happen to do your box smaller, you can trim them down smaller. If you did your box larger, you can do them larger. Once you have trimmed all your pieces, you're going to need to heat seal each end. That's very important that you heat seal all your corker ends. Or if you use a wood burner, you can uh, just go over the edges with your wood burner when you cut them. But go ahead and trim up all your pieces. Okay, before we start assembling our corkers into the box, you're going to need to take your elastic and insert it through your slits, like so, because this is what's going to hold our bow in place. Now you're just going to take your corkers and you're going to lay them in the pattern that you want. You're going to go all the way across, and then once you have one layer on the bottom, you're just going to layer on the top and just keep going up until all your corkers are used. Just start putting them in like so. Once we have laid our corkers into our box, we're just going to take our elastic and come up through the loops. Be very careful. Then you're going to cross it over and you're going to tie your corkers in the middle. And you can put your hand down there now just to make sure that they are secure. And you're just going to tie. like I've done here and you're going to just tighten and then we're going to take the elastic and tie it right up at the top make sure you're in the middle And you can knot it one more time. Just pull on it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fluff our corkers up and tug on them in case you're not in the middle. So just pull your corkers and tug on them. And then we're going to fluff it up just until you get the corker that you want. So just keep tugging until we, all of them are straight. Okay, and if you are happy with your size and shape, now you can go ahead and clip off your elastic.
Okay, and if you are um, happy with the size and the shape of your corker, go ahead and cut off the rest of your elastic, and I'll show you how to put it on a clip. Now we're going to put our corker onto our barrette. And what I do is I take my corker and I find the center. Just kind of spread out your corkers evenly. Add a dab of glue in the middle of my barrette. And then I'm going to place my corker spread out on the glue. Press down for a few seconds. Once it's secure, you're going to take your elastic. Or you can go out and buy some of the colored embroidery thread, some that will match your corker. And you're just going to wrap this around the corker and the brett a few times and then tie it off in the back. As soon as you tie the back, like so, if you don't want to see this part right here, you can take a piece of ribbon, heat seal the ends, and just insert it on top and glue it in place. And then you'll never see that. And there you have it, a corker hair bow. Pretty easy, huh?